After a day of brooding and glooming, I'm back to kick flank with the best of them. By which I mean donkeys, alpacas, and llamas, and possibly thoroughbreds, and Thorntons, and Bartons. And now, a book in the first room that I forgot to read. Let's read a lady's diary. Personal diary. I went to the market, sweet goddess. I don't know why the market has to do with goddesses, but hey, if only I could have run into Larsen. I saw him the day before yesterday. I had the vapors. The vapors? That doesn't sound good. He's so elegant. I'm happy the steward has placed the key for the upper levels in my care. A mark of Sir Dolores' confidence. My last saying will be so pleased. Let us please our men. That is our purpose in life. Still no news from my sweetheart. What is he doing? Where is he? Goodbye, lovely gifts and light-hearted jests made on my account and which pleased me so much. It's now six days since I haven't any news of Larsane. My handsome rebel has left for other pastures, bastard, but I will get my revenge. Oh! Yesterday, I encountered an odd-looking man skirting along the walls. Later on that evening, I ran into that bizarre man once again when I went to wash Lady Ashley's sheets. She had suffered some indispositions during the night. Great! He was leaning against the wall near the pub... Oh, artiste, he gave me this strange look. I believe he was drunk since his eyes were bloodshot. Earlier, we had exchanged a few words. I had tried to start a conversation by explaining that the chicken was exceptionally tasty for the season, but he only gave me a furtive sideways glance. Not a talker, that one. He must belong to a race of timid people, with that habit he has of pressing himself against the wall whenever someone comes near him. But what can I do? I admit that I have a weakness for the timid and sickly ones of life. They're so touching. Naturally, I took pity on him and gave him one of Lady Ashley's scarves. It looked like he was very cold. It's true that the air is really cool for the season. I was so happy about my good deed that I ignored the absence of thanks from my new taciturn friend <laughs> for a gift so generously offered. And so one thing led to another, and by nightfall we were as high as kites. I just might stop to change. Yeah, yeah. Indeed, it should have been a lively evening and nonetheless pleasant, but I only have the vaguest of memories. I don't even remember the name of the man who was sleeping in my bed. Best that he wake and leave now. I need to go to work. Cheerio, Larsane. I don't need you anymore. I'm having an accidental kid with Garrett. Louis. I better get out of here now. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to take the responsibility for that. <laughs> well, there she is. Flighty frickin' female character. But, uh... <clears throat> hey, that means this is like a cinematic game, because all Hollywood movies have characters that drop out of character at the three-quarter mark. And then... I take the executives who okayed it and beat them over the head with a box set of Studio Ghibli. <laughs> yes, I believe that the Japanese pronounce it Studio Ghibli, even though I think Italians would pronounce it Ghibli. I don't know. But yeah, anyways. Burn! So now we have this. <laughs> and uh, this is, of course, the floor with something hilarious going on at that end of the hall. But uh, I think I'll save that for later. Now, in this room is an innocent... Or is that a note or gold? It's it's gold. Well, it's a gem. It's an innocent-looking note and a key. But I will not be getting that now because because that is linked to the interesting thing that I wish to show. And I think I might want to go through this door so that I can skip over every challenge ever, as I am wont to do. Apparently, these rooms are just kind of there. Can't hack the banners. On account of no weapons. Still need a key from. Some guy. One of these guys up here must have it. But I don't know who because hell. This is hell! Yeah. <laughs> I missed out on me getting a candlestick. I hope you guys don't mind. Oh. Uh, uh, uh. I hope you guys like me making repulsive noises on the internet, as I always say. But I guess you do because you subscribe to me and maybe, 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 maybe. Baby, don't say maybe. My way or the highway. Take my hand. Underst... Oh, there's a few guys here. I guess I'll... Oh, hey! Ah, oh, come on, come on, get the... You... Ah! <laughs> yeah, I reload instead of dealing with the consequences of my actions. Seriously, that's the point. I hate consequences. <gasps> Armory key! Ha! There it lies. But you know what? Well, you know, I have to do it sooner or later. It's an actual required goal. But 
I hesitate to do it now because, you know, these guys ain't so tough. Yep. On the other hand, well, water arrows. Those, those are handy, and I'll probably make good use of them in the absence, in the artificial absence of any other weapons. So, yeah, I don't know if this guy comes in this door or another door. Right. Wake up time. I love when fan mission authors actually make it so that these guys do not wake up when you pick a lock, because when they don't, I, uh, I smack them over the head with a box set of, what the hell, man. It's a... It's a movie I invented for the purpose of having a lot of weight to its physical form. It's pretty great. Yeah, that's right. Walk away. Ow. All right. Well, let's go into Lady Frickin' What's-Her-Face's room. They're all ladies. She's wearing a fancy dress. And, uh... Yes, I guess... I guess... I guess Louis Son did get to be somebody's housemaid after all, so she fulfilled her dreams of, like, being a servant. It's a pretty lofty goal. Yes. I wonder about this loot goal. Oh, I get it. They're long because a freaking guy comes in here. <laughs> but, you know, as you see, it's more bark than bite. You can just kind of stand around. <laughs> yes. He kind of likes to watch her while she sleeps. He's, uh, he's a bit creepy, but... Uh, that's okay. They're both creepy. They actually take turns watching each other while they sleep. They go, your turn today, dear. And one of them sleeps and the other goes <laughs> over them. It's quite, uh, quite lovely and they both enjoy their marriage immensely. It brings a tear to my eye. This room now, of course, I'm obviously quite remembering this one. Because, sure, a lot of people in it and stuff. And it's kind of hard, except not because I guess you could just put out the fire, so... Still, eh. I remember having trouble with this room and using a flash bomb. I don't know what the hell my problem was. I don't know why I didn't just put the fire out. Because somehow I ran out of water arrows. I don't know why I would have ever had occasion to have done that, but <laughs> I probably just ran around knocking people out like an idiot. Good lord. Why am I used to be so bad and, 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 and stuff? Not that I'm always not bad now, but... Ah, oh, as demonstrated. Alright, so... We have the long, lonely hallway. With a door that needs a key. Oh, ghosts. I mentioned I really freaking like this mission. Yeah, there's a guy running, but don't worry, he's not alerted. He's just going to the bathroom because he's got the runs and the run-twos or something. <laughs> I can't remember exactly what the deal is, but it's an amusing bit of scripting, I suppose. So, yeah. I don't know why I'm so amused by bathroom humor. It's huge! But I guess I am in this instance. So, yeah. Getting close-ish to my loot goal, which is good because it'll be hilariously entertaining. Why would a loot goal be hilariously entertaining? Well, everyone will see in due time. Everyone! First, I must obsessively grab loot as if, or grab food as if it mattered. Come on. Indeed not, sir. Are you gonna turn around or not? Hmm. Uh. <laughs> okay. This room, now, I think... Pretty sure there's a switch in this room. Because memory never fails me. Ever! <laughs> This one's got some space behind it, so maybe it's here. You know... Oh, pfft. It's right there in the light. Yes, because I remember you can get into this hallway and skip over this weirdo. He's got some toilet paper in his hand or something. But there's already a guy there, alas. So he can't ever do anything. That would be... That would be terrible. 
But he's got another key. Oh, that's Forrest. Freaking poor Forrest. Uh-oh. You just walk on by. Shit. What am I, what am I even, what am I even doing here? Why would I want to even, I guess I want to go in that door at some point, but, hmm. Oh, yeah, because Forrest drank the freaking poison wine or whatever. So, <laughs> oh, it's neat little moments like this that make it all worth it. Damn it! How uh, so I guess when that guy makes a run for it, I can run over there super quickly or something. But I'm pretty sure, I'm totally sure this door cannot be unlocked until later because... All I've got is forest chest key and the armor key. Come on. <laughs> Get to go through that painting for some reason. Now it's funny though. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So <laughs> I'm just thinking I'm just thinking of of my path to take here, and I, I think I might have to chop down this banner or something, so I should probably just head back to the armory. Well, hello again. Always uh, coming to see you. Right, let's get our business done. And by business, I think you know what I mean. Yeah, never mind. <laughs> Wrong kind of business. <laughs> oh boy. So, now I get an unnecessarily large amount of weapons. It'd be funny if I could triple wield swords. There's, there always seems to be more swords than you can actually have in an armory. Viz more than one, but anyway, yeah. Well, now I'm all armed to the teeth. And because I like my teeth, I'll have to be very careful I don't chop them off, I guess. A sword could chop your teeth off, right? Right, so, forest chest. Hmm. You know, I'm starting to believe my interesting thing might not be so possible after all. Right, well... Ah. There you go. That's the proper way to go about life. <laughs> yes, indeed. Where's some more loot? <laughs> That's not gonna cut it enough. Let's try to just take the key. Secret passage key. Secret pa- Oh! I know it seems like I'm playing this in a stupid way, but you'll see why. Alright, secret passage key. <laughs> there we are. Don't know why I'm going here at all. But, uh, yeah. What did that switch do? Well, we'll find out in a minute, I suppose. Well, <laughs> towers... Always pretty freaking good. I am, uh... I'm just looking to get some more loot here. More astute of you might be getting a clue as to... Kinda what I'm doing. Yeah, that secret passage opens through a pan. And you gotta hit it without hitting the object and making noise, I suppose. But... Sounds like somebody's alarm clock is... Occurring. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Well. <laughs> not, not quite. I seem to be in somebody's chambers of sleep, judging by the snoring. Chambers of sleep. Yes, indeed. Only reachable by secret passage, because you hate convenience when you go to bed. Oh, look, I'm almost done with the thing. That's a pretty disgusting bucket, but sadly necessary in the old days. So, 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 yeah. Oh, this is the other side of that door upstairs. Certain of it. Ugh. It is the glow pit. You go into it so that you can have that nice glow to you and attract all the males. Not just one, but all of them. You may notice my objectives are now complete, so I can leave the mission. Hello? Someone there. Well, 
that's Emily Victor. Next time I'll be playing the Corrigan, so see you guys later, and bye for now. Just kidding. <laughs> anyway, that is, that is one of the ways you can beat the mission. That is the early finish, and it's interesting to me because, uh, let me get upstairs again. Because, uh, most missions, some missions have these deceptively simple goals and then they have more complicated goals later and the way that those happen is by an unavoidable trigger on the way to accomplishing your simple goals. This mission is different in that the trigger is avoidable. Spoiler, that guy seems to have lost his buddy. Spoiler, the, the trigger is that crumpled piece of paper I was avoiding up there, so... Yeah, if I was playing this blind, I wouldn't- I would have just frobbed it immediately, and- and the mission author counts on players doing that, and that's fair. Because everybody really would. But it's just kind of interesting that you can beat it, and... Although, I- I still think you cannot properly ghost it, on account of having to slash that banner in the secret, because you need 2200 loot to beat it, and I think you can only get the full loot by going into that secret, but... So that's kind of... Really unfortunate, but hey. I know who you are and what you have done. I saw you just now skirting the walls, shadow among shadows. You think that you are indiscernible, right? But I, I have observed you and I see you even now. I also know that you will find this letter and that you will read it with particular attention. Yet you are not off the mark in sticking around these premises. There are thousands in stolen goods to interest you, Mr. Garrett. For that is your name, is it not? Or is it Gurnet or Garpet? No matter. If you persevere a little, I know that you will find a certain well-being here. Above all, dig around diligently and don't leave any stone unturned. But before you vanish into your surroundings, Mr. Garrett, just one more thing. Since you will not be leaving us so quickly, would you allow yourself to be tempted by something which shines considerably and burns the hearts of men? Need I ask? I know that you will accept since I'm talking about money, Mr. Garrett, and have a proposal that is not to be taken lightly. And to give you access to the treasures that I am alluding to, I advise you to examine the master of these premises very carefully. His name is Delore, and he is very rich, but maybe you've already told you that. They've already took. Delore is an ambitious and corrupt man. Recently, he has acquired several warehouses on the docks. Warehouses which hold in their depths a multitude of valuable objects. Sir Delore's ultimate wealth, founded on the goods that were left behind by the small business owners that Delore has royally screwed. There. That's middle aged talk right there. There is enough there to make up a real fortune. All of his fortune, in fact. All you need, Mr. Garrett, is one key. The key to the warehouses. You'll use it for another mission. Third wall break. Fourth wall break. <laughs> and it never leaves Delore. Totally plundering this despo spot also includes stripping him of certain property title deeds which have been cashed away in his suite in a secret cache. Cashed in a cache, eh? Oh. Delore meets regularly with his agents, locals of uncertain nobility, and more or less willing accomplices. These meetings take place in the ancient monastery's former armory. You can access the monastery through the door in the wall opposite the double door entrance to Delore's suite. Door in the wall? Doors are normally in walls, okay. This message causes you to be somewhat perplexed, right? May it not distract you from your mission? For the night... Some doors are closed, so I leave you with a key that you could find very useful. It gives access from the ground floor to a secret passage which leads to the suites of Lady... Conagond, even though it was Cunagond at first, but okay. The Dolores' wife. By this way, you could access to Dolores' apartments. Oh, one more thing, Mr. Garrett. When you make it to the warehouses, too much later and this adventure finished, bring along a cart. You definitely won't be able to fit everything into that old carry-all of yours. <laughs> Best wishes, Emily Victor. All right. Steal the key Delorius carrying on his belt. Find and meet with Emily Victor. Get and destroy Delorius' property title deeds. Still simple enough sounding, but, well, we'll see about that. So, <laughs> with that out of the way, see you guys later, and bye for now.